Hi, this is Tommy from Carrera Casting. Today we're going to be covering best practices for your design from a design point of view. In this segment, we are going to cover supporting delicate parts. Sometimes you have multiple parts that need to stay together, but are very lightweight such as this. In that case, it's good to build a barrier around or something, one that everybody can get a hold on. Don't forget, it's coming out of a solidscape machine. The material is delicate and cannot be overly handled. So in a situation like this, what is best to do is to arrange this in such a way that we can put a frame around it. Not so much scaffolding, but a frame around it. So if we go like this, and then we'll build a box like this. Okay, let's move that up a little bit. Now we're going to offset the box by 0.7. It should not be too heavy. Again, too heavy, you put too much stress on the actual parts themselves. Okay, there we go. So let's get that. There you go. Something like this is perfect. Let's bring that in a little bit. Okay. Now you need to hold something in the box you're going to build. So let's disable that. Let's bring something like this. Let's bring something like this. And let's bring something like this. Okay, we're ready to begin. First, we're going to bring this a little lower than the very bottom of all these pieces. Now we're going to extrude it straight and actually build a wall that goes just past the highest prong. Okay. Now we're going to bring this up and we're going to pipe that with a diameter of one millimeter. Perfect. So, and we're going to copy. Oops. Put one here. Put one here. Put one here. 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 And here. Now, obviously, you don't want them sticking out, so you might have to do some scaling in order to fit it within the parameters of the cage that you're forming. Okay, now you'll notice that the box is very high. Sometimes if the box is too high, it's going to cause a lot of stress. It's good to put a hole through the box, but not going where you have your sprues. So let's make a copy of this. That would be good. Let's take this and this. We'll take this and we'll do what's called a Boolean difference using these parts. Okay. And that. And we can also do one. Well, we haven't put our sprues on this side, so let's put them in. And we'll make copies of this and put them in between everything to hold it all together. Okay. And if you're a nervous Nelly like I am, you can always put one on the bottom like this. Okay, now, that's being done. That looks great. If we go here, go into our ghosted mode, we can put a curve right here. All right. And we'll extrude that. Do a Boolean difference. Okay. As you notice what happened here is we intersected where the sprues are. So we have to move the sprues. Move one here. And we can, since that's a copy, now it's going to break history. There it is. And that should be fine. And you would Boolean union all of this and STL it. Now, if you feel you need to put more, maybe one down here, that's fine. In this case, what happens is they can grab around the box, they could sprue around the box, and there's no need to worry about the prongs breaking off. 
you're helping yourself when you, when you do these little things that one will give you a better ring and two and a better product for you to work on to finish for your client. In summary, we covered situating your parts in a box, building a wall, connecting your parts to your box, and preparing your structure for casting. Hope you enjoyed this segment and stay with us. There are more best practice videos in CAD and 3D printing for jewelry manufacturing to come.